a wipe, check orders and allergies, assemble the equipment and assess the patient, wash hands, don gloves, introduce yourself to the patient, identify the patient with two identifiers, provide for privacy, explain, educate, and evaluate. So first I'm going to position the patient, um, whatever is easier for them. So this patient is sitting down. Um, their bag is half full, so we're going to change it. I can either take this one off, um, clean it out, and empty it and reuse it, or I can get a new one. So I'm going to put my gloves on. this pouch. I'm gonna empty it. It's clean. Now I'm gonna remove the wafer. And if they if they have fragile skin then I can use alcohol to kind of make it easier. This is trash. I'm going to assess the stoma, assess the color. This one is a good red color. Um, I would be noting for if it's necrotic, if there's any color changes, um, if, if anything's abnormal. So now that I've assessed that and I've assessed the skin around it, I'm gonna measure. And you want to have about a 1 4th inch in between the stoma and the new wafer. So I've measured it. Now I'm going to take it to my wafer and either, sometimes they're already pre-measured, so this one actually already had the same measurement on it, so I'm going to cut it out, smooth it down, and also before I do this, I would, actually, I would like clean the stoma off with a rag, just damp it a little bit, clean it off clean the stoma off and clean off around it. And then if they wanted to put a barrier on there, I could do that. You want to make sure the wafer is down as smooth so it doesn't leak. So once it once it's down, I'm going to put my bag on there. Make sure that it pops down, and then I would close this. And then we're done with putting that on. But for the irrigation, you can do the ostomy irrigation. And to do the reason you do that is for like for it to be scheduled. So then they wouldn't have to wear a bag. They could just do that at certain times. And then after that, I would just document.